here we go. Here we go. This is what I like to see. My number one bait. Number one. Doesn't get any better than this. Precious, precious little squid. I'm gonna turn that into a halibut later today. That's the goal at least. And you can tell these squid are spawning right now because these are the eggs. So anyways, welcome back. We're out here on the kayak again, obviously, as you can tell. And today we're hunting for halibut, early season, early season halibut. And like I said in my last video, I haven't caught an open ocean halibut yet. So that's my goal for today. We're out here a little bit early in the season and um, hunting for some primo. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's the best bait that you can get for a halibut, which is a fresh live squid. So I got a couple in the tank right now. I just picked up that one that you saw. Looking for a few more. I'd like to get, well, I mean, I like to get a bunch because I like to eat squid almost as much as these halibut do. But if I get like six or seven, I think that'll be enough for bait. Any more than that. And uh, I'll take them home and fry them up for dinner. Yeah, maybe I found a little school here. So anyways, gonna load up on a few of these squid, as many as I can get. Probably spend an hour, maybe less, depending on how this bite goes. But uh, spend a little time getting this bait. In my opinion, it's always worth it to spend a little bit of extra time to make sure you got good bait. Even if it, you have to sacrifice, you know, a little bit of your fishing time, in my opinion, the bait is where it's at. Let's see if I can get more than one. It's much more efficient if you can get three or four on one pull. One at a time takes a long time. But if you can get, you know, like for example, if you can get two at a time, that cuts your bait fishing time in half. And if you can get three at a time, that cuts it into a third. So it's a big, a big deal if you can get more than one at a time. That really help you be more efficient. Oh, no, three. Look at that, I even got two on one little, oh. Two on one little, oh, no, oh, I lost one. Oh well, I got these two. One went right through the scupper hole, but that's okay. We gotta get as many as we can, as quick as we can, and then get over to the halibut grounds. So what I'm using to catch these squid is a little squid jig. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out, but it's basically, it looks kinda weird, it's basically, six little glow beads with six little upward facing prongs and uh, there's no barbs on there so they can easily fall off which is why when you're bringing it up and i might have even lost it here eh, i think i still got one on here um, but when you're bringing it up you need that constant pressure you don't want to give it any slack um, because those squid will just fly right off the top of there and i still got one Yeah, so you can see it's, it's way more efficient than anything else in my turn, in my opinion when fishing for squid, unless you're gonna use a big net like the commercial guys, but um, we can't do that obviously on a kayak. So I think this is the most efficient way. Get up, get down, get back on the school, and you know, get your squid. I think I got, I was working for a little while. It took me a little while to find this little pod, but now that I have, I've probably got about seven or eight in there. Probably gonna get a few more Squid is just such a good bait for really anything. Humans like squid, fish like squid, crabs like squid, everything like squid. All right, well, this is where the fun begins. Honestly, the squid fishing was a little tough, which is to be expected. It's fairly early, the water's cold. I honestly didn't, wasn't sure if I was gonna get any, but I did get about maybe 10 or so, something like that. Um, plenty enough for bait, not quite enough to take home for dinner, but maybe if the halibut fishing is good and I just bang them out real quick, maybe I'll have a couple left over after all is said and done. But here's the setup, a little slider with my leader to the live squid at the end on a trap rig. Just like I always do, nothing special. Just drop this down to the bottom because if you think about halibut they're for the most part they're going to be tight to the bottom and we're just going to drift this around these sandy areas try to avoid the rocks because if we get near rocks then we're going to be dealing with rockfish lingcod 
all those kind of fish and we don't want to deal with those because if those you know if we get into school of rockfish or or even lings um these these squid will go bye bye in no time so we want to try to avoid those and try to hit these sandy patches where the halibut should be hanging out and if our plan goes the way i hope it does hopefully we can hook a flatty Put one here i'll get this one down on this side and then we'll be fishing Fish on. Fish on. Oh, I don't think this is a halibut. I don't think this is a halibut. What do we have here? Yep. This is a suspected. It's a ling. Oh, but I think I'm going to get my bait back here. Unfortunately, not the target species, but uh, I guess it takes the skunk off. First fish of the day, that's probably a legal ink cod, but uh, when you're link cod fishing, you need to be using one rod max. So since we're using two, not a legal method of take, so we're gonna let him go. No skunk, now let's go find the halibut. There's a fish. There's a fish. Mm, not feeling very heavy. Another rock fish. This is a brown rock fish. So once again, another good eating fish, but unfortunately we're using two rods, so. All rockfish species, if you want to keep them, you got to only fish with one rod. So, anyways, it's his lucky day. He's got some scars right there. He's been beat up a little bit. All right, send him back. There he goes. So, we're switching gears here, switching for rockfish. And, like I said earlier, it's one rod max when you're fishing for rockfish. And, uh, <laughs> So yeah, that's what we're doing. We got a couple of live baits here. I jigged up a couple of live jack smell. on and it's in a rock. Oh, I feel it on there, but it's, it's in a rock. I'm gonna work him out. Every time I let him loose, see, look, there he goes. Oh, got him out, got him out. Got him. Did you see that? So every time I let him loose, he was swimming off with it. And I could tell he was on there. It doesn't feel that big, but yeah, I could tell he was in some kind of rock there. And every time I let let it loose, he was swimming off with it. Oh, it's a little ling. Uh, I don't think it's a keeper. Oh yeah, my my leader is all frayed up. I don't know if you can you can even see it there. I'm not sure if you can see it on the GoPro, but it is all frayed up. So this guy had me deep in a rock, but we got him out. Unfortunately, I think it's a little bit too small to keep. We'll just measure it anyways. Yeah, 
Oh, he's right. Yeah, he's about 21 and a half, so not quite a keeper. We'll let him go. There he goes. All right, so next on the live bait list, this little, I believe this is a black rock fish. This one just looks too good. The link cut is just gonna gobble this thing right up. Anyways, let's get him down. Feels like a little bit heavier. Taking some drag. Oh, it's taking a lot of drag. Taking a lot of drag. Okay. I think we got a keeper on our hands here. It's getting a little bit windy out here, so that's making it a little bit tougher. We're going to be at a little bit of an angle here. So because the wind's pushing me this way, you know, my line's scoped out that way, and when the fish comes up close to the kayak, it's gonna be a little bit farther off than I would like, but. Here he comes. Oh, it's not even that big, to be honest. Yeah, I thought this fish was a lot bigger. He comes off, he comes off. Oh, I got him pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. 23. Yeah, 23 inches, so definitely not huge, but that's a good eater fish. Yep, 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 yep. Got him. Got him. Oh, there he goes. Drag feeler. Wow. This one has got some shoulders. That one was pulling some drag right as that plane was going overhead. He didn't like that hook set that I gave him. Oh, you know what? I think it's even smaller. Oh, he's gonna go. He's gonna go. Oh, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Got it. Small one. Well, I really thought he was a bigger one, but it turned out to be actually quite small. Probably smaller than the other two that I got. So we'll get him back. Fun fighter, hard fighting fish. Strong one. All right, let's get the big one now. All right, well, I got one small lingcod, or maybe two, I don't remember. A little rockfish. And I'm on to my last bait here. So we're gonna drop this one down, hope for an, our second ling, but if not, it's been a fun day out here. Really nice day out on the water. A little bit choppy now, but this morning, you know, at least till like noon, which is pretty good for out here on the open ocean, at least till noon, it was like no wind, flat calm, hardly any swell. Just a really nice day on the water. But anyways, see if we can get number two here. That's a good one. Man, it's got some weight to it. I was almost about to give up. About to head in back into the harbor. We're getting pretty close here, but. Ooh! Something was calling me. Couldn't quite give up just yet. tough day but it means early season but we made the best of it a couple of nice 
23, 24 inch lings. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Gonna head out and clean up my ling cod limit here. Ooh. Almost just jumped out. But uh, yeah, it was a fun day out here. Really nice weather out here today. Honestly, I wasn't even gonna fish today, but the reason I came out because I knew the weather was just gonna be so good. So it's hard to pass up a, a nice weather day out here on the open ocean. No halibut, still early, early season. I'm sure I'll be back to get that saltwater halibut later on. But for now, I'm gonna be happy with these two ling cod and some fresh squid. We have some calamari tonight. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna clean this up, get out of here, head home, save my fish, and get ready for the next adventure. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.